just recently I had a client info form come in. I hadn't met this lady before and her client info form was her describing herself and it was fat, disgusting. I'm, I'm ashamed of myself. I look at myself and I just see a fat blob and straight away I was like, oh my goodness, like it, that broke my heart. Um, we had quite an emotional call together as well and I got really emotional as well and I explained to her and told her, you know, my story and how I changed and it starts with the language as well, you know. If you look at yourself in the mirror and you say that, you know, I'm fat, I'm ugly, I'm not worthy, that's all you're going to be because that's what you're programming your mind to, to be, you know. Um, I always make my clients, I'm like, you wake up in the morning, you look at yourself in the mirror and you tell yourself you're fucking beautiful because you are i'm kitty bloomfield co-founder of new strength and saturated creator of pro metabolic food supplements and seriously saturated skincare and today i have one of our lovely coaches melissa collins back on the podcast for the fifth time Ooh. welcome back Dar. thanks so Dar. good to have you again <laughs> I'm getting used to this. I, I like know, it. We do. We did a great. What, what was our last podcast on? Um, um, uh, environment. Environment. That's environment, right. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. And uh, I just wanted to get Mel on to talk a bit more about how you talk to yourself and how that's going to, I think, affect your mental state and you know whether or not you actually. Well, it's part of the reason, potentially, why you do or don't achieve your mm. health and body goals. And uh, Mel works with a lot of, I think you actually do really well with clients, like mindset stuff. You're really good with them. Um, You know, I've seen some, what was that lady's name? Uh, Oh God, I can't remember her name. She's still on the tip of my tongue. When she joined the program, she was, I remember signing her up, she was in tears. Marie. Marie, that's it, Marie. Oh, she's beautiful. beautiful. Honestly, when she signed up, I thought, Mm. this lady might not make it. She's so confident now. I know. And just loves herself so much. She has so much self-doubt. Yep, yep. And... When I interviewed her, you know, 16 weeks later, I was like, I said, holy shit. Is that the same person? Exactly. Yeah. That's, honestly, I just couldn't get the wipe the smile off my face. Yeah. Incredible. So let's talk about self-talk and how you talk to yourself. Because I think mm. maybe why you're so good at this is because you used to do the same thing. Mm, yeah. Well, my, my self-talk was just stupid. You're never going to amount to anything. You know, you're dumb. You're not smart. <laughs> But that was all I knew, you know, that was what I was told when I was growing up. The shitty people I hung around, you know, um, that was what they thought of me as well. So that was just my belief, you know. Um, that's, I still struggle with that, you know, sometimes as well. Talk about that, um, what you told me about with Greta, because that's a great example. Oh, yeah. with Noretta. Noretta, sorry. Noretta, Greta, yeah. yeah. Um, so we were we were away, we go away, you know, to have this soul sister weekend every couple of months. And um, she was reading a book and she's really into self-development stuff and, you know, growing and learning. We have some oh, amazing, powerful conversations. Um, and she was reading this book by Brene Brown, yeah. I think it is. Yeah. And she was telling me a few things in the book. And I was like, oh, that sounds really good. Can you, you know? remember which one it was? No, no, no. <laughs> um, that sounds really interesting. Like, you know, what's that book about? Blah blah. blah. And um, she told me a little bit about it, and then she said, "Oh, I'll give you the heads up, though. It's really wordy. Like, there's, you know, it's a little bit hard to to read." Straight away, I was like, "She thinks I'm stupid. Yeah. She thinks I can't read because there's big words in it." <laughs> that was just my automatic reaction because that's what I've always your childhood you know, yeah, yeah your absolutely and that was still like it's still kind of like a, a trigger there for me um but now instead of reacting to that and going oh you think I'm fucking stupid you know and going off at her like I'm not dumb you know I I was aware of it and I'm like oh there's that feeling again you know just sit with it just you know just process it because you're not stupid and you're not dumb you know yeah, obviously no yeah. obviously <laughs> um, so instead of reacting to that I just you know sat it I sat with it I processed it I was aware that it was there and later on that night around the bonfire you know we spoke of of that and I said to her you know straight away my reaction was you think I'm stupid you know because I, I can't read big words this is how it come across to me she was like no not at all like I struggle to read this book yeah, you're just making you know, you know yeah, like we just, talked about this book so you're like fuck yeah. this book's heavy yeah you know, yeah it's not a light read yeah yeah she wasn't saying no you can't read. not it's at just all saying it's a, yeah not at all yeah. but that was the the first thing I thought of because that's you know a belief that I've that I've always had you know um but and, 
Oh, sorry. Keep going. Keep going. Uh, yeah. I, what What did I hear? Someone said many years ago, a belief is a feeling of certainty. Like it's not real, but it's real to the person that holds it. Yeah, so That makes so much sense. I yeah, love that. Yeah. yeah. And it's still, it's still there. So like, oh, um, it's funny because um, I think of, you know, the growth that I've done and the knowledge that I have now compared to, you know, what, what I did have before. I actually went through a stage where I was growing and learning and, you know, um, had all this knowledge about how to be better and mindset stuff. And I hung on to that as well for uh, quite a while. I actually mm. made this confession to Craig. I think you were, you and I were at dinner um, with Craig one night and... Um, I said to him that I found that I was holding all of this really good information to myself because in a way I didn't want people to get that and be better than me. Yeah, wow. And it was like, hang on a minute, that's me playing small. Like I'm here and my purpose now in life is to help people and save the world. Save the women, <laughs> duh. Save the women. <laughs> and by me hanging on to this stuff and holding it to myself is that's not being me being the best version. That's not helping people. And again, it's playing small. So now everything that I get and, you know, that helps me with the self-belief stuff and the talking to ourselves, I just I straight away hand it on to other people, you know, but going went a little bit off track there no, but um no. yeah i mean what you what you think and what you feel and how you speak to yourself that's what you're going to be you're just going to say so like give us some examples of women when they come into the program of how they speak to themselves so just recently i had a client info form come in i hadn't met this lady before and her client info form was her describing herself and it was fat, disgusting, I'm, I'm ashamed of myself, I look at myself and I just see a fat blob and straight away I was like, oh my goodness, like it, that broke my heart. Um, we had quite an emotional call together as well and I got really emotional as well and I explained to her and told her, you know, my story and how I changed and it starts with the language as well, you know. Mm -hmm. If you look at yourself in the mirror and you say that, you know, I'm fat, I'm ugly, I'm not worthy, that's all you're going to be because that's what you're programming your mind to to be, you know. Um, I always make my clients, I'm like, you wake up in the morning, you look at yourself in the mirror and you tell yourself you're fucking beautiful <laughs> because you are, you know. Um, and just making those little little changes and being aware of when you're speaking to yourself nasty, you know, like instead of when you stuff something up, you know, it's like, oh, you idiot, you, you know, you're stupid. I always used to say that to myself. Now I'm like, oh, goodness me, Melissa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. But, yeah, it's like I, 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 I'm I, just all about love and kindness now, you know, but I had to – but for me to be able to do that and be like that with, to other people, I had to start doing that to myself. I had to start loving myself and helping myself before I could, you know, love and help other people. Well, I think you'd never speak – like some of the, the way that some women speak to themselves – They'd never speak like that to their sister oh, or their no. friend no. or their mother, mm. would they? And I had that conversation with that lady that I was yeah. reading her form. You know, I said, what, what, what would you do if your daughter spoke about herself like that? And she said, well, she wouldn't do that. And I'm like, why? And she said, because I wouldn't allow that. And I said, well, why, why would you allow her to see yourself doing that? You know, you're, you're her mum, you're supposed to protect her, you're supposed to be a role model to her, you know. Mm. If she sees the way that you treat yourself and the way that you speak to yourself and about yourself, that's what she's going to pick up and what she's going to think is okay, you know. Mm. Like you wouldn't speak to your daughter like that. You wouldn't let your daughter speak to speak about herself like that so why would you do it to yourself because you're the most important person mm. you know i think too that you know it's okay to want to change yourself and change your body but you can still love yourself along the way oh yeah yeah you gotta love yourself <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah and i think it starts with self-love yeah well how and so how do you get them to start speaking differently to themselves i demand that they do it no <laughs> <laughs> they listen to me yeah <laughs> I always get to get them to focus on the good things that happen mm. in their life. You know, the good, the good. Look around us. You know, look at all the things that we have. You know, we 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 don't. We're not doing it hard. You know, pra yeah. start with practicing gratitude. Start practicing. You know, like I'm, I'm grateful that I I have my feet that hold me up every day. You know, um, what what we we look like this. 
you know, um, love what you look like because this is the way you were born. This is your face, you know. Yeah. You can't change it. Yeah. So learn learn to love it. Um, and you are enough, you know. Start telling yourself that you are enough and you're worthy of everything, mm. you know. So do, you, do, you, do they have to do it every day? Yeah. Like is it something that you yeah. get them to practice? Absolutely. Every morning when yeah. you wake up in the morning, you tell yourself you're beautiful. Yeah. Tell yourself you're amazing. Tell yourself you're powerful and you're worthy because you are. If you wake up and you say that to yourself every day, you're not going to have a bad day. <laughs> we wake up in the morning. A lot of people, the first thing they do when they wake up in the morning, you know, is think of the shit in their life, the problems in their life, you know. Just make that little mindset switch in the morning. Like instead of going there, let's go here. Get up, look at yourself, mm. you know. Get up out of bed. As soon as you open your eyes, get up out of bed. Mm. Look at yourself in the mirror. Tell yourself you're beautiful. I'm going to have a great day today. My neighbours probably can't stand me because I yell and scream in the morning all the time. I fucking love my life. I'm amazing. <laughs> you're like, what is that lady doing over there? What's that hippie yeah. woo woo yeah. sage that bloody burning sage. Shit. <laughs> woman again? <laughs> but you know, it is true. I think. Um, you know, we've talked about this before. It's not about this false positivity. It's, you know, it's okay to have emotions and feelings mm. and feel sad and, you know, but you're right. I think if you're constantly telling yourself that you're fat and you're ugly and you can't do it and you're stupid, that's, of course, what you're going to believe. Yeah. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And to change, you've got to change. Yeah. And it's know. hard? Oh, yeah. yeah. Change is hard. It's scary. You persist. Yeah. Yeah. Persist. Keep doing it every day. Yeah. It's like anything that, anything new that we're learning, you know, speaking to ourselves nicely is a new habit that we're forming. Any new habit is hard, but you just got to religiously keep doing it over and over again. Mm -hmm. I have mantras that I say to myself every single morning, and I have done for like what three years. Oh, a whole lot of stuff. <laughs> I'm powerful. I'm worthy. I'm grateful for all I, that I am. I'm rich. I'm smart. I'm successful. My son hears that and he's like, you're rich? And I'm like, no, I'm rich in myself, like in life, <laughs> like, in love. Well, I be rich like, yeah. <laughs> it's all about the money for him. Um, you know, I, all of these things, like it, mm. what, whatever you, you want to say, you know. Um, but I, I say those things to myself every day, every I day. I love that. Yeah. That's so good. You really have had an incredible journey. If only people knew you back then. <laughs> <laughs> crazy oh. it's a wonder i'm still here though you oh, know? know and and i'm so grateful for that you know but then i don't people say to me do you, what do you regret in your life it's like nothing i don't because i've learned from everything and everything happened so it was everything was meant to happen the one thing that i probably do wish i would have done better is yeah. being there more for my son yeah. and maybe protected him a little more from the things that he saw but then those things he saw has made him the the, the boy amazing. that he he's is pretty, today. he's pretty balanced oh he's Duh. A, he's amazing he should be more fucked up <laughs> I mean, like, come on like people say that all really the time smart, how did he he's really balanced he doesn't take yeah. any drugs he doesn't you know like well he's he will never take drugs and he he despises drug dealers he's because seen he's seen me and he's seen yeah. what drugs do to me and i get them from the drug well, dealers and when your mum tries to attack you with the meat cleaver yeah yeah was, that meat, was it meat cleaver <laughs> yeah yeah meat yeah. cleaver and then apparently strangling him as well yeah. but again you know like, like him and i are you guys are so close now i know yeah. <laughs> but he he says to his friends you know that say i wish i had that relationship with my mum. he's like no you don't because we went through shit. Uh, 20 years of shit and violence and you know a lot of stuff he had to you know call the police and put me in a psychiatric hospital you know but he said to me a couple of weeks ago i think i told you this that the person he it's like he's getting to know me now he's like you you're it's like you're learning to be a caring mother a caring responsible person now like you're it's like you're a different person well, he said are. that that you person are. that was there when i was growing up was he He's said gone. pretty fucked up and that person doesn't exist anymore and it's like i'm getting to know this new person i was like oh <laughs> yeah did you just call me a good mom he's like don't go that far <laughs> 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 oh, that's Sorry. too funny. But this is for me to be kind and caring to other people. I had to start being kind and caring to myself too, mm. you know. Mm. It all starts with self-love. Mm. Yeah, no, I just can't believe Marie, honestly. 
Yeah. Like, you know, she bought herself um, flowers, a teddy bear, and wrote herself a card on Valentine's Day oh, as beautiful. well. Beautiful. Yeah. She's I just, love that. Yeah. Yeah, she's, she's beautiful. I love her too. I just can't, cannot get over the transformation in 16 weeks. Yeah. Mind blowing. And she's had a great physical transformation mm-hmm. too. Yeah. She's finally losing weight. She's yeah. feeling good. She's, she's eating confident. Lots of food. I know. She's cocky too now. <laughs> I can't wait to see where she's at another six months. I know. Isn't that well, cool? She's in her second 16 week block now. Yeah. yeah. Incredible. She's just, yes, she's amazing. And she's just such a beautiful, beautiful person. Too. Yeah, she is. I really like her yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. I was so happy when I interviewed her in the podcast. I was like, this is incredible. Yeah. I cannot get over how much you've changed. You are an absolutely different person. Mm. And it, like, it's just made me feel so good. Well done, Mel. Yeah. yeah. A lot of mindset work we've done together. Yeah. 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 It's crazy, isn't it? Once you get that right, it's just everything else falls into place and it yeah. becomes so much easier. Yeah. I think though, you know, like it really does take, um, you have to be brave. You have to do hard things. You have to face mm-hmm. whatever it is that is holding, you know, women that consistently self-sabotage yeah. and they can't reach their goals. There's underlying issues mm. and it's hard. Like mm. to work through that and really work on it and deal with it is painful and hard. Yeah. But it's totally worth it, mm-hmm. I think. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 You won't regret it. Do hard things. Yeah. Yeah. Hard, hard yeah. shit's awesome. <laughs> Even dealing with hard shit. Like I, I've done a lot of dealing with past stuff, past emotions and, mm. you know, the stuff I've you know, pushed to the side that I, I realise now are holding me back, you know, yeah. beliefs that I've had and, you know, um, and dealing with that is so fucking hard. But just getting it all out and, you know. I think too, like at some point you just get sick of the same pattern of behaviour happening. Yeah. Like I've been doing some work, you know, talking about Greta, mm-hmm. my friend Greta, yeah. this is the TFT. Yeah. And I've just noticed this reoccurring behaviour that I have with like relationships and without going into the whole fucking detail, but like my, and she's talking to me about my attachment style and, you know, and we're going to start to do some work on it because I'm like this same thing keeps happening and I'm like, fuck's sake. Like, yeah. I don't want to feel like this anymore mm. and do keep doing the mm-hmm. same thing. So I'm going to get to the bottom of it and I'm going to work through it. And it's hard. Yeah. But that's, I mean, I think I'd rather do that than keep going over and f- yeah. being stuck in the same place. I mm. think that's harder. Mm. Yeah. Behavioural change is, is really hard. But being, I think the hardest part is admitting it. Yeah. In the beginning, like it's it's like okay, I, I'm this way because of this behavior, and I yeah. I need to change that, you know, yeah. and attracting certain people in your life too. I mean, that all because I was always like, why am I keep attracting these type of men? <laughs> you know, it's like this is all because that's all I've known and all I've yeah. you know had in my life, and this starts from my childhood too. You know, from violence and yeah. you know feeling like being you know thrown away and stuff it's always the same type of men all the time and I had um a little moment in the gym a while ago when this guy was there and I, I was there this. and <laughs> kind of this looked at t- each t- other the, the type the type yeah. there's the type the shaved head the covered in tattoos those eyes that's the type probably a drug addict maybe <laughs> an old addict or something <laughs> He looked at me, I looked at him and it was just that look and it's like, oh, this is going to lead to And then I was like, hang on a minute, we're doing the same thing again. Yeah. We're doing the same thing. Look away, look away. You don't, you don't want that yeah. anymore. They're always so good in the sack. Oh, God. <laughs> I, and <laughs> I could whip, I knew straight yeah, away, we is both that, knew, this like, this, this is going to happen here. And then yeah. I'm like, oh, no, don't you're do still it. doing the same thing. Yeah. It was so fucking hard to stay in that gym for an hour and not look at him. I bet. God, just I wanted to jump his pants, didn't you? It's like I could smell it on him yeah. <laughs> Dal, we're waiting for you guru surfing you know yeah like, sage dude, dude to come along sage hippie. burning yeah. hippie boyfriend yeah. <laughs> but that's another thing too since i've started you know being kind to myself and loving myself i i want that back i want respect from somebody i want to you know it's my next relationship is going to be completely different because I know what I I'm don't excited. want and I know what I deserve and what I won't put up with yeah. and, you know, laying down boundaries and all of that. You're going you manifest know. the shit out of that, aren't you? Oh, I'm still yeah. – I'm manifesting. Yeah, he's, him. Coming. He's, he's coming. He's coming. <laughs> <laughs> he's coming. Oh. That will be another podcast. Oh, it'll be great. Like, guess what, everyone? Mel's got a boyfriend. I can't wait to have a boyfriend. Yeah. 
I had a boyfriend a while ago, but it didn't, you know. Oh, it was the toxic one. But that was that good was learning. good because, yeah, it was a great test. It you was. Know? And to, I think for you to realise you keep going back and doing the same, attracting the same guy. Yep. Yeah. 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 Oh, you love a bit of growth, don't you, darling? I do. I just want to be in love. I love yeah. love and want to be loved and give love. Oh, look at love, love. <laughs> I'm like, finally, she's coming over to my side. It's so crazy. Yeah. Like, what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> I thought you were with me. I'm like, come to the love side, Mel. Come to the love side. Oh, God, I'm on the love side. I love a bit of love, too. I'm a bit soppy as well. Yeah. Oh, too funny. Yeah. Oh, well, that's good. Great advice, I think, for the ladies, you know, about how they speak to themselves. Um, I don't know if there's anything else you want to add that we haven't already discussed. Just keep telling yourself you're beautiful. Yeah. You're worthy. You're yeah. powerful. Yeah. You're amazing. Look at all those things you do all day, especially all the mums out there. Yeah. You know, you look you after the, the kids. Mums. You send the husbands off to work. You clean the house. You do the washing. You do yeah. all that. And it's like... You know, you're you're loved and appreciated by everybody, you know. Um, love and appreciate yourself too because mm. you're the most important person in your life. Awesome, awesome. Mm. Well, as always, everyone, take a screenshot of the episode and share your biggest takeaways on Instagram stories and tag me at Kitty Blomfield, K-I. It's actually Kitty Blomfield, but it's spelled with one O, so it's really confusing. Blomfield. But it's, I know. I just say that because I can't be bothered <laughs> to so spell posh. it. I know. Blom. It's Bloomfield. <laughs> So tag me at K-I-T-T-Y-B-L-O-M-F-I-E-L-D and each month I pick someone and they win a tub of saturated premium collagen valued at $79. And we'll be back again next week. <laughs> <laughs>